I don't know if my faith can ever grow to that point where I won't doubt God. Yet I, I, I hear people say stuff like so 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 number of years they have never doubted God. I remember just like two or three weeks ago, I went through a period of period of doubt. And I discovered that a lot of Christians actually suffer when we don't want to let the human part of us actually react to our situation. Sometimes um, your environment, sometimes the news you hear, sometimes some things happen that want to actually take you to the point of, if I can say, depression. Or sometimes when your when your word level is actually very, 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 very low. And so uh, I want to believe this is the extreme of you know the faith preachers where they tell you that no, 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 come off it. How do you expect someone that just lost a loved one to react to that particular situation? I think the person should not weep because the person is a Christian. I don't know why God tell, told us um, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I believe if I will not pass through this series or series of doubt in my life, then I don't think I ever need to look at the word again. The meaning that I've arrived when it comes to faith. But the Bible told me Jesus wept. Zachariah doubted God when God told him he was going to have a child because he was old and so that he would not contaminate that blessing. God told him, God made him mute all through until John, until he decided to name his child the name God called him. I saw Mary ask God, how shall these things be? And I discovered that it is the same thing that Zachariah did, that Mary did. But maybe because of the level of Mary at that time, in terms of spiritual uh, things, God decided to just encourage her. But the same way, God still carried out that which he was going to do in the life of Zechariah and the wife. And they gave birth to their promised child. I know people go through low moments. You just lost. You are sick. And yet, you are saying, faith it. Yes, faith, I believe you can faith things. But faith is not stupidity. When I need to cry, I cry. I wouldn't know why God made tears as part of me if I don't need to shed tears to relieve my emotional state at different times, at different intervals. So Christians go through sufferings, Christians go through different things because of the preachings and the teachings we hear telling you that you are not supposed to, you don't have the right or you are not licensed to actually go through difficult moments. Difficult moments will come. But the point is, just like the life of a child of God, talking about the fact that our life is not straight, our life is like a zigzag, and there are always limits. As we pass a particular level, there will be another limit that sometimes your faith will hit and, and, and bounce back. Your faith will hit and bounce back. Your faith will hit and bounce back until you have a breakthrough. That's why it is called a breakthrough. Where the grab actually breaks through that particular barrier. Then, as you move up, you get to another barrier. Those places, those points, are points of doubt in our lives. Everyone, I listened to T.D. Jake sometimes ago, he said something about um, that. He said, There's no great man that will never go through moments of confusion. And one thing is that if you are set or you agree that there are confusions in life where you don't know where to turn to, then every state of confusion is a pointer that you doubted God. Because doubt, because confusion starts with doubt. There are three levels. Um, Confusion starts with doubt. So doubt is the first level, then confusion is the second level. But at that particular state of confusion, that is why you see the Holy Spirit begins to remind you of scriptures. At that particular time, your faith begins to grow and you get back into fellowship. But if you remember that point of confusion, you could actually slip to unbelief, which is the highest level. And that particular point is what actually you begin to offend or hurt God. They did not enter the promised land, not because the same word that was preached to them, but they did not enter the promised land because of unbelief. So unbelief is what actually hurts God. And God doesn't want any child of any child of his to get to that point of, 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 of unbelief. So that's why I said that wherever there's point of confusion, God begins to pump the word you are taking in into, into your spirit. And before you know it, light comes and before you know it, you are back and your faith level actually grows and breaks those barriers. I don't know if this has blessed you, but the point is that what I want to say is that don't tell me not to cry when I need to cry. Don't tell me don't tell me not to act based on my human feelings if I need to act. If I, don't, don't tell me how to react to my situations in life 
when situations actually requires me to cry. And that's what I want to tell you today. That people go through things, people go, people suffer because of the teachings that we had even in time past. I believe this as blessed and I believe this will lift somebody up. But one thing you need to know is that at the end of it all, God wants your faith to grow. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So this is what God is telling you this morning. The name is Uduak Akwan. God bless you. Real good. Hello there. My name is Uduak Akwan. Thank you so much for watching today's teaching. If this has really blessed you, please do not forget to subscribe and to like and also to share. There could be somebody out there that just needs to also hear what you just listened to. I want to also, by this video, encourage you to become the journalist of your life. Taking note of some things the Holy Spirit might want to impute into your spirit. God wants to start with a new generation it can depend on. God depends on us to pass the message of hope around. Of course, you know there are so many deteriorating messages going on around, but God needs you as the salt of the earth and the light of the world to pass the message of hope and let people know what he can actually do in this time and dispensation. And that is where God so much depends on you. Thank you so much. See you another time. God bless you. Real good.